We're doing another test from the Taurus TCP. This is not part of the AmmoQuest series because I already know how these will perform in general, but I just want to show them to you why I dislike uh, full metal jacket, you know, round nose bullets or even FMJ flat nose bullets so much from the little 380s. It's because they over penetrate a lot. Now I've had questions about that and you know how far they go because I had never posted a ballistic gel test before, but we're going to do that now. Uh, to put things in perspective, for ideal bullet penetration for self-defense purposes, anti-personnel purposes, you want a minimum of 12 inches and a maximum of 18 inches through ballistic gel, which is a uh, tissue simulant. That doesn't mean it's gonna go 12 to 18 inches in a body. Bodies are different things. They have bones and all sorts of, of other different types of tissue. But if it can go at least 12 inches through ballistic gel, that means it has enough power to penetrate through a body and get to the vital organs. However, 18 inches is pretty much the max. You go beyond 18 inches, now you're looking at, you know, exiting the body and over penetration and being a hazard to uh, people standing behind the, the person that you had to shoot or, or, you know, hitting property or whatever. So minimum 12 inches, maximum of 18 inches. Now I know a lot of people think that the only way to go with a 380 is to use full metal jackets because that way it guarantees you get enough penetration. And that is true. Full metal jackets will deliver enough penetration. What we'll see is how they do with over penetration. The two Remington UMCs came in at 23 and 24 and 3 quarters inches. The two Monarchs came in at 23 and 3 quarters and 24 inches. And the Winchester White Box Flat Nose came in at 26 and a half and 27 and 3 quarters. For reference, the BB calibration on these blocks was 3.50 inches, so they're totally in spec. This is just what FMJs do. And there you have it. You know, you got six rounds, three different brands tried, and uh, well over 20, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27 inches uh, when the maximum cutoff is 18. That's why I don't like full metal jackets. Yes, they have enough penetration, but they're gonna be a hazard to other people or to property. Um, it is true that over penetration, while to be avoided as much as possible is still better than under penetration. Uh, I believe it's Martin Fackler who said, over penetration can get you sued, but under penetration can get you killed. So it's not the worst thing in the world to use an FMJ. It's just that there are much better choices. If you go through my ammo quest and you look at some of the winners that use the XTP round, you'll find that you can get a good solid 13 to 14 inches right in the sweet spot of what the IWBA and the FBI found that that you want for effectiveness and you don't have to worry about the over penetration issues that full metal jackets can have. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful and please hit subscribe so you'll be notified when new tests are posted.